Uh, so this uh, PowerPoint is by Susan, but I'm going to talk a little bit ab about some of the issues, but uh, there are many things that Susan and Abby could say because they're from her collection. I met uh, Siggy and Miriam in 1968 when I met Susan, so I actually go way back with them, and they were a very different family than my, my own, more typical Ashkenazi immigrants from Russia, Eastern Europe, uh, coming over in the 1890s, my grandparents, and my father from Lower East Side, my mother from Brooklyn. So um, when, uh, when I met Siggy and Susan, and I, they, they went to this bund, well, we, we, we were just appalled, my, my family would have been, and I was, that uh, Siggy sent them to the bund, what we considered to be the Nazi bund school there in Yorkville. It was very funny, but it's just a very different sense. I've learned a lot about the conception of, of what Germans are and what Jews are versus our Upper West Side Jewish anti-German uh, sentiment, which I retain. But, uh, but, but that was not Sigmund Laufer's conception. Uh, and this is his first day at school in Berlin, 1926. Is it, uh, oh, it's not showing? Uh, should I just? Uh, okay. oh, that, that's fine. So I talk for a second. So th it is very, very uh, remarkable. 1926. So the, the sisters can disagree on the interpretation. One rabbi says it's flowers. <laughs> the other says. <laughs> but it is a, a, a great picture. Um, and this is the self-portrait. Susan mentioned these self-portraits of Siggy from 1964. Uh, so this is the, this is now, and the, there's Siggy at the bottom, in the very center in the, in the yeah, no, that's interesting. It looks, he said it looks like my grand, uh, his grandson, Felix. Uh, oh. Yeah, so you, you see this, this Polish side mentioned to Jerry Rothenberg, I saw last night we were doing this, Poland, Poland, this Poland 1931, because this Polish part is so important. So this is uh, the grandfather, the Torah scribe, I love this picture, M Miriam, that the Mir her mother's, um, <laughs> also from Poland, this is what I aspire to. Beard is not as good, but I'm moving toward this. You notice the pens and the quill writing on the Torah. It's an early form of uh, reproduction technology. Yes. And this is Siggy's grandfather from Chernow, at the last killed in a concentration camp, but looking very d dapper, doesn't he? No. This is, by the way, a real downer. I just want to say Al is teaching a class in the Kurban or the Shoah, or the systematic extermination of the European Jews, and that's the context for this, but I think it's a real downer. It's <laughs> 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 killed in the cons, you know, come on. So this is, um, these are, I, 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 I this, these would, the, these are the, <laughs> okay, I'm being displaced, okay. <laughs> I'll say more in a moment. Oh, Go okay. Ahead. Okay. Now he's being being shut. Um, so this is my uh, my uncle's my oh right my great uncle's Jacob Schlesinger in a Polish uniform. So he was in the Polish army. He survived the concentration camp and moved to New Jersey. It's moving by itself, yeah, which well, it shouldn't. Could you put it back? Uh, what camp was he in? Uh, Bergen Belsen, I think. Um, it's it's going fast. Uh, it's on setting. Um, and then the, his great, um, this is all from the Chernow album. There's an album of the town that, that the people who survived from that town made an album. And I found these uh, pictures in the album. And my great uncle Ziggy and Minna, who uh, immigrated to New Jersey and were the ones that actually took my parents in after the war. And they also brought my uncle, great uncle and aunt who had been in the concentration camp. This is um, Ziggy and Miriam and his parents, his brother and sister in Palestine in the 1941. So they all did make it there. 
Um, this is the book, The Life and Destruction of a Jewish Stedel. It was privately printed, and I got a copy, and it's an amazing volume that actually documents uh, what was going on. I don't know why this so is going th on. This is a very interesting picture because for those who are not as familiar, you can see how close Chernow is to Auschwitz. And, and to Berlin also. And to Berlin. And then I, I put in a more extensive map so you could sort of just to be reminded of, of uh, the kind of key places. So you can see again uh, Chernow there, you know, where Chernow would be. And Auschwitz. I this is a map of the concentration camps, right? So each of those little swastikas of where the concentration camps uh, were. And um, as, as my father said that he used to go home for like the way people go home for Christmas, he would go to Poland for like holidays. So it wasn't considered that um, unusual to actually for people from Berlin to go back to the shtetls and to visit their relatives for a holiday to go to see his grandparents or his aunts and uncles and so forth. And uh, my sister wants to add something. All, all Eastern European Jews, not just Polish Jews. Mm -hmm. so there were shtetl Jews versus the high culture. Other kind of curious and sad story is that Emma wanted to become an EU citizen. So we all, I think you came to that too. Siggy came with his paper showing he was born in Berlin. So it's about Germany, and Germany is, has a law of that you can get citizenship in Germany and therefore in the EU if you were a victim of the systematic extermination. So he comes in and shows he went to high school, he was born there, but they did not accept that because there, the German laws do not accept that somebody who was born in Pol who was Polish, even though he was born in Germany, was German. And uh, their view was that in 1935, just down from the Nazi headquarters, he should have come and declared his German citizenship. That's what they told me just four or five years ago. In order to have claimed his German citizenship, he would have had to go to the Nazi government mm -hmm. and declared himself a citizen. But he did get reparations from the city of Berlin. But he, but Emma could not get her desired EU But what was very strange is when we went to the German embassy, my, I dragged my father there, and he was speaking German to the woman there, and she knew the street he lived on. You know, I mean, it, it's like, in what sense wasn't he German, but I think it was good that he didn't really have the right papers. Well, he didn't want to do it. <laughs> it was only Emma that insisted mm -hmm. that he do it. But this is an interesting image that Susan, at first I didn't understand it, but it has to do with this image. But this is the picture here. Um, this is this is the picture of the lynching here. So these three people were lynched. There we don't actually, use the word lynching, but they, they were said lynched. Nine, but there were seven people. Seven people all together, and so this uh, uh, print of Siggy's relates to that. I don't know exactly what I would say would be the difference or the whole issue of how he's representing it, why he does these in this dark palette. Um, in this way, but they're, they're certainly so haunting So th this images. is also from the book, um, the Chernow book, because it, this was actually all incidents that took place in Chernow, and it, they documented. So this is actually the Jews of Chernow walking to Auschwitz. I mean, they were close enough to walk. They didn't even have to take the train or walking to the train. Um, and they actually, somebody took this snapshot, and after the war, they managed to get these snapshots together and make this book, and uh, it's quite amazing because really this is a story of one shtetl, but it's actually the story of a lot of places. <laughs>